All right, thank you for watching my response video. Response to what? Um, I found a video, it's been a while ago now, I don't remember exactly how long ago, and I saved it on a playlist so I could get back to it later to respond to it. I think that's what I was thinking. The video is Four Questions for Mormons on the channel Catholic Digital Studio. <clears throat> so, I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. That's what people mean when they say Mormon. And so let's do this. Um, the first question is, is the Bible inspired? Now, these questions are designed to either get me to um, abandon Mormonism and or join Catholicism or acknowledge Catholicism as the true church. Some of these questions are not appropriate questions to ask us, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, but better questions for Christians who are not Catholic, but they say the Bible has never, ever, ever, ever lost anything. Pristine, perfect, all we need. So, is the Bible inspired? Yes. But how's that question? How's that supposed to get me to leave a church that says the Bible is true? That doesn't make sense. Now uh, let's clarify what I mean when I say yes, the Bible is inspired. Did the person asking the question mean something different? I don't know. <clears throat> that means the original writings of the Bible were written by prophets of God. Um. The Chronicles, that might have been by record keepers, not prophets. The Book of Ecl the Song of Solomon, that book does not be, that book is not scripture, that book shouldn't be in there. Um, Peter, Jude, Paul, true apostles and prophets of God. So it started out as a book that was inspired, but <clears throat> when I say it, yeah, well, we don't when those books were written, the original letters and smaller books that now make up the Bible, they were not written as the Bible. Um, but at the time they were written, they were inspired. Inspired means that God worked with his prophets to get his information. That does not mean God's prophets got turned into a robot. That does not preclude the possibility that the commandment in there was for people in the past under certain circumstances and conditions for how for them to live their life or do something. That doesn't apply to us in this day. Now, some things, the Ten Commandments, those have never been revoked. <laughs> those are not an example of that. <clears throat> All right, and two, are the correct books in the Bible? Yes and no. <laughs> this is a better question for those other Christians who say the Bible has never ever lost anything. Now, we do believe that despite the Catholic Church not being Jesus Christ's church led by prophets and apostles, that he probably had some influence on the Bible, what came to be the Bible. But, not the same level of influence God would have in directing a prophet or apostle of his. So we look at the Bible as amazing in how much of it has survived and how useful it is. Extremely high percentage of it is well translated, transmitted, and useful and good. <clears throat> but, um, and thank you Catholic Church for keeping the flame of Christianity alive, albeit apostatized Christianity. The parts of Christianity that survived are a part of Jesus Christ's church today. We, we accept all truth, even the old truth that the apostatized Christianity was uh, holding on to and teaching. But there are definitely books missing from the Bible. 
there are books mentioned in the Bible that we don't have. So, uh, are all the correct books in the Bible? It doesn't have some of those books. But that question does not make sense to ask to somebody who believes that God um, can reveal something to a living prophet now, and thus does not need... Um, need a complete, all-encompassing book from the past to teach every principle and cover every possible circumstance. Question number three. The Great Apostasy. When was it? Ask for a date. Underlined. He underlined ask date, or ask for a date. Wow. This is not... I find this to be an almost comically weak argument, really. If I can't name a day, I'm supposed to, oh, throw my hands up and you got me. The thing never happened. Wow, what if there's some other historical dates I don't have memorized? Or that nobody's certain about? I mean, do I say, Alexander the Great never existed, I, I don't have a date for that. The Romans never conquered the world. I don't have a date for the conquering if I didn't have a historical date memorized. If I was like so inept at history, I didn't know what years World War II was fought when I said, nah, it didn't happen. I, I don't have the date memorized. Um, I don't owe you a date. The great apostasy really did happen. It happened, I can say approximately. It was about 100 um, A.D. That's when we got the last book that ended up being a part of the Bible. That's when we stopped having somebody called a prophet or apostle. That's when the Catholic Church began and called a bishop. The Bishop of Rome and claimed him the, the leader of everybody. Despite bishop being a local calling and not a worldwide calling. And not a bigger calling than local. Okay, how was the Bible canonized? This question is not one that will make a uh, knowledgeable, believing member of the Church of Jesus Christ and Latter-day Saints abandon Jesus Christ and go to something else. How is it canonized? This is a good question to ask people who uh, say, oh, the Bible never ever lost any single word, and I don't want to be Catholic. Well, the Catholic Church is the one that picked which books that came into the Bible. But that doesn't mean they're Jesus Christ's church that Jesus Christ wants me to follow. Um, at the time, 300 and something A.D., uh, one of the reasons for putting together the Bible was disputations and arguments and dis... Uh, so not disbelief, uh, differing beliefs about which books should be called the Bible. At that point, there was not a Bible. There were a whole bunch of books, smaller books, letters that were being copied, passed around, used some places, not in other places. And they had a big get-together where they debated about which books should end up in the Bible. I'm sure God threw his weight around and made sure certain really important books got in there, like the Book of Revelation, which the Book of Mormon tells us to look forward to seeing. Um, the first writer of the Book of Mormon saw the same things John saw and was ordered not to write them because that was for John to do. Um, James. There are some people that have a strong negative opinion about James. I don't understand why. That's a great book. But maybe some people who thought like Martin Luther um, were there in 300 A.D. trying to keep James out. But God made sure James got in. Okay, so uh, the Catholic Church, 300 and something A.D., wanting to end disputations by having one book that they would say, this is our book, does not prove them to be led by Jesus Christ or by a prophet or inspiration or revelation. So those are the four questions. And one more thing here. Um, he said that if you ask a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, 
they will acknowledge that the Catholic Church is the original church that Jesus Christ founded. No, we wouldn't. Where did he get that idea? I don't know. Um, but I'm sure he didn't get it from talking to believing members of the church or spending a little bit of time trying to understand our understanding. Any knowledgeable, believing member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints would say that the Catholic Church is not the Church Jesus Christ founded. The Catholic Church is what came next after the apostasy. Some would say it caused it. I'm not going to stick my foot down on that, that idea, but the Catholic Church jumped into the hole left by the loss of Jesus Christ's Church. And they are Christians. They're just Christians that Jesus Christ wants to actually stop being in that and follow his church. But <clears throat> So that's what the Catholic Church is according to our understanding. Not the original church founded by Jesus Christ. They are what came next. And there are some people probably that were in both churches. They were alive when there were apostles alive. And they were alive when there were no apostles alive on the earth. And the Catholic Church had begun by having bishops act like bishop was something other than a local calling. Thank you for watching. You have a good day.